Senegal, like other countries in the West and Central Africa region, has recorded above normal rainfall in recent weeks that has unleashed destructive floods. The deluge has breached a meters wide gap on the banks of Senegal's Pink Lake and washed away thousands of dollars worth of salt mounds gathered on the shores. The lake is one of the country's most visited sites and is under consideration as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Here's a report from Niaga, Senegal. After days of torrential rain, salt miner Babakarba could only watch in despair as flood waters breached a meter's wide gap on the banks of Senegal's Pink Lake. The flood waters washed away thousands of dollars worth of salt mounds he had gathered. Senegal, like other countries in the West and Central Africa region, has recorded above normal rainfall in recent weeks. This has unleashed destructive floods after poor drainage systems failed. We work here and our whole life is about salt extraction. We support our families by working the salt. This is our only hope for survival. In this area of almost 20 meters, there was salt everywhere. The rainwater washed it away. The lake separated by a strip of dune from the Atlantic Ocean is situated around 35 kilometers from Senegal's capital, Dakar. It is one of the country's most visited sites and under consideration as a UNESCO World Heritage Site. Officially known as the Lake Retba, it derives its pinkish hue from an algae that produces the colored pigment. And like the Dead Sea, it is also known for its high salt content. Ba is one of over 3,000 people who earn a living from the lake. Hundreds of divers rake salt from the bottom of the lake for a living, producing around 38,000 tons annually. Water came over the salt dunes and washed away everything. Those who can afford it pay excavators between $54 and $460 to move their salt, while others who cannot afford it pay women to do the work at a rate of around 8 cents and 15 cents per basin, depending on the distance. Over the past weekend, drainage systems and retention reservoirs quickly overwhelmed and channeled floodwaters towards the lake. As persistent rains drenched Senegal with around 126 millimeters recorded during one spell. According to Senegal's Civil Aviation and Meteorological Agency, rainfall above 50 millimeters in the country is considered extreme. With a month to go before the end of Senegal's June-October rainy season, other businesses around the lake, including restaurants and flat-bottom boat operators who take tourists on tours of the lake, are counting their losses and worried about the future. Today the people don't come anymore. I used to bring people here because we used to talk about the pink lake, about its color. For many, it is no longer worth coming anymore.